Well, that's not our lesson for today. Oh, pretty woman, that was a previous lesson. But here we are. We're actually doing our music reading today. And I am coming live from Los Angeles today. As you can tell by the, the dull white background and the uh, fluorescent lighting. <laughs> anyway, um, we are here live. I'm just gonna check my feed before I get too far into this and just make sure that we're streaming and that we're looking all right. Uh -huh. All right, there I am. So we've been covering the first and the second strings on our music reading and we'll review those. And so now I got, well, just one song for today, but I got a, some songs that will continue to help solidify and really lock in those notes on these two strings. And we have been working in what is called the open position, meaning we're playing open strings. As opposed to playing the same notes in the closed position, meaning no open strings. But we're here in open position, which is a good spot to start with our music reading. So, the new string was the second string, and if you remember that's your E, open second string, F, first fret, first finger of the second string, G on the second string, third fret, and I'm using my third finger, and then we've been incorporating also the first note, A, open A, B here on the second fret with our second finger, and C here on the first string, third fret. So those six notes are the notes that we're going to be going over. So let's, um, let me see here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our song, and I want to sight read it now. So this is our song, Twisted. It's two measures long. I know the, the big one kind of cuts off my ukulele a little bit. I'll try to hold it up. Uh, but let's try to sight read this one. Here we go. This is going to be with the fast backing track. Here we go. One, two, three, and. All right, let me take that off the screen for a second. Now, normally I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this one with my first and second fingers alternating. But I can see why ukulele players like to play with their thumb is because if you're using your ukulele without a strap, it's easier to play with your thumb because your, your hand actually acts like a little support for the instrument. So, but when you have a strap, it's a lot easier to use your first and second finger alternating. All right, so let's talk about this. I'm just gonna check in, see if, uh, if I'm missing any comments. Feel free to uh, ask a question, say hi, thank you for being here. Uh, you know, we're here, um, well I enjoy it, and I'm here for you to hopefully teach you some tips, and this one of course is on music reading. All right, so let's look at the first line here. Uh, oh yeah, so I, I didn't quite do this as, as well as I should have, but this is actually the first five measures, so it actually has part of uh, the next line in. So let's look at the first four bars here. Notice your notes here. This is what we really need to solidify. We can start off with F, so where's F? That's part of the thing. You've got to recognize the note and staff and then remember where they are in the ukulele. Second string, first fret. Use my first finger. Then I'm going to C. So there's your first jump, first string, third fret, from F to C. Those are chord notes, so one, two, and then on beat three I have a half note, and that is open A. So I'm playing it, three, four, one, two, three, four. Bar two is gonna start with a G note, and the G note is here on the second string, third fret, G, and then it goes to B, first string, second fret, and then open second string. So notice that one's gonna go from the second string, G, 
first string B, and then second string open E. So let's play those first two measures now. Two, three, four. So we got F, C, and then A. Then we got G, B, and E. Then measure three is going to be the same as measure one. F, C, and A. And now here measure four is going to be G, F, E. So second string, third fret, G, F, and E. And that's the first half of the song. Even though you're seeing on the screen, again, the first five measures, I just want to look at the first four measures. So here we go. Let's try that. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four. So we got one, two, three. Measure two, one, two, and three. Measure three, one, two, three. And then here's measure four and one, one, two, and three, four. Now measure five, which is on the screen here, which is the last measure, is actually the second half of the song. It's going to be just like the first measure. So F, C, and A. And now we're going to go to the next line here. And it's going to start off the same again. Measure two, G, B, E. Then the second to last measure, F, C, and A again. And then we're going to finish the last measure. Here's something new. G, B, and C. So notice the rhythm is the same for the whole song. Quarter, quarter, half. Quarter, quarter, half. And what's difficult about this song is that it jumps around a lot. So when we're reading diatonic music, which just goes up like E, F, G, A, B, C, that's easy to read because we can see it going right up and coming right down. But this one, it leaps, right? So the first note, F to C, knows how many notes, that's a fifth away, right? F, G, A, B, and C. So you have five notes in between them. And that's what gets more difficult to read when it's leaping around because you really have to have your notes down. What solves this problem is repetition, practice, time. You just need to give yourself enough time to, to get these memorized. And then stuff like flashcards would help or just sight reading as much music as you possibly can. All right, so let's go ahead now. Let me, uh, here's the whole song. Let's try it with the slow, no, let's try it without the backing track first. Let's just try it, you and I. One, two, three, four. So let's, and, Measure four and now measure five and last two measures here and last measure. All right, so there's twisted. Now, let's go ahead and bring in the fast backing track. I'm just going to check my feed here and see what's going on. I'm just going to refresh my screen here, make sure I'm not missing anything here. All right, there I am. Okay, hey, I see a few of us here. Chris is here and Gary's here. Welcome. All right, let's try this now with the uh, slow backing track. So here's Twisted. I'm going to keep the music on the screen. And again, I'm going to use my thumb for this one, just basically because of the way I'm holding the ukulele so you can see it above the notation. All right, here we go. One, two, three, and. And one, two, three, four. Now measure five here.
again, I've mentioned this before, but you all have the ability to play something like this. It's not that it's technically hard. It's not like it's you know some kind of rosciato or you know some kind of fancy soloing. It's easy to play, but you have to get the music reading down. Okay? And I don't even I don't even want you to memorize it. I want you to keep your eyes on the music and start making that connection with the notes on the staff, the notes on the ukulele, and also the rhythm. All right, so. What I want to do now is I want to do it one last time, but with the fast backing tracks. So let me throw the music back up here on the screen. There we go. And this will be twisted. And this is 120, so 120 beats per minute. One, two, three, and. So that goes pretty fast. There's no repeats on this one. So why don't we uh, give ourselves one additional shot at this particular one. Here we go. One more time. This is twisted at the fast backing track. One, two, three, and... Now as we're playing that, I saw a question pop up here. Gary's asking, uh, would I normally use my index or in middle for this exercise? Yeah, so if I was without kind of holding my ukulele up and I was just playing it normally, I would just alternate between my first and second finger. So I'd start off with my first finger on the F, middle finger on the C, index on A, middle on the next measure G, first finger on the B, and middle finger on the E. Yeah, so I would just alternate back and forth. I mean, thumb works. The thumb is totally fine. I, I like to use my thumb a little bit more if I'm having uh, more notes on the bass strings. But I do find a thumb, like I was doing a video last night, uh, and it was pretty fast, so the thumb was, was a little harder to use because you have to hit it so many times versus if you can use two fingers and do the alternate fingering. But yeah, that's the way I would do it normally, is alternate between my first and my second finger. So hope that helps. Um, okay, so I guess we're good. That's uh, our song Twisted of our music reading on the second string. As always, thank you for being here, and I hope that you enjoyed it. It's great seeing you, and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.